everyone, it's Hannah and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make these twin bead or super duo bead wrap or ladder bracelets. They're really easy to make and it's just something a little bit different from the normal beaded wrap bracelets so I thought I'd give it a go. Super duos are beads with two holes which makes them a lot more useful and a lot more open to doing different things with them. So. I'm going to show you how to make these today. On Tuesday, I asked everyone on Instagram which bracelet that they'd like to see. It was between this one and a crochet seed bead bracelet. It was pretty level pegging the whole way, but the twin beads won by a small margin. So I've made the twin bead bracelet today. I will be making the seed bead bracelet at some point very, very soon, potentially in a video coming up in this next week. So don't worry if you voted for the seed bead one. Don't forget to check out the description box below for a list of where I bought all of my materials and what you'll need, etc, etc. But yes, it's relatively straightforward to do, so if you're new to beading or anything, you'll be fine. You'll be able to make this, no problem. But yes, that's enough waffling for me, so let's just get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so to make this wrap bracelet, you are going to need some form of cord. This is just a plastic leather-esque type cord. You're also going to need some two hole beads. I'm using super duos today, but you can also use twin beads. They also work quite well for it. You also need a button for the closure, some beading thread. I'm using the same color as my edging, so it blends in quite nicely. I'm using a size 10 beading needle today, a pair of scissors you will also need, and also some fabric glue because I use it for everything. So I've threaded my needle with about two meters of Nymo. Now, this is probably more than you need, but I don't like to join it on. It is possible to join on more, but I just think it's a hassle. And also, to work out the length of the thread you'll need, or the cord even, I just guesstimate. So I fold it over in half, and then I pop it around my wrist, and it's just a bit longer than meeting, basically. It can be a bit tricky to get started on this bracelet, but you'll be fine once you get going. So to start with, I've folded my cord in half and I've made a loop that is big enough for me to pop my button through still. I'm just going to hold it there. Then I'm going to take the end of my thread, not the end that's got the needle on, but the other end, and tie it onto about where I want the bottom of my loop to be. And you're going to glue it in the end anyway, so don't panic about it being too secure. So once I've tied the knot, I just like to weave between the two pieces of cord, going over and under. It just makes it a little bit more secure at the top. You don't have to do it too many times, just a few. And now we are ready to start. So I'm going to pick up my first bead. And so once I've finished my weaving, because my thread is coming out underneath the cord, I'm now going to go over the cord and underneath the one opposite. And pull that through. And then make sure that that bead is sitting between the two cords. A bit of gentle persuasion. And then to secure it, I like to go back through. So my thread is coming out underneath this cord here. So I'm now going to go over the cord to go back through and then under the next one. Like so. So I'm going to pick up my next color. So picking up the bead because I'm coming out underneath here. I'm going to go over and through this next bead, the next hole here. I'm going to pick up another one, pop it on the other side, and someone's alarm's going off. I'm just going to persist through the alarm. Okay, so I'm then going to pull that cord through and then make it sit where I want them to sit. Which, once again, gentle persuasion. And then my thread is above this side, so I'm now going to go underneath and then go back through all three of those holes. So 
and then my thread's coming out above on this side so I'm going to go around the cord underneath it. I'm going to go through the bottom hole of that first bead there. I'm going to pick up another one. Like that. And then go through the second hole of the final bead. And then go round the cord and back through all three of the holes of the other bead. So my thread is coming out underneath this cord, so I'm going to pick up a bead. I'm going to go over the top of my black thicker cord and go through the next one, pick up another bead and thread it on. And then to secure it in place, my thread is coming out above the black cord, so I'm going to go underneath and go through three of the loops, or three of the holes. And then thread's coming out underneath, so I'm going to go over, go through the second hole of that first bead, pick up another one, thread that on, and then go through the final bead. And then looping round, going through all three. And that is essentially it. So you just keep Continuing to follow this pattern, um, obviously you don't have to do little chevrons, you can just do random or whatever, but you just keep continuing this pattern until the bracelet's long enough to fit around your wrist. So my bracelet's now long enough to fit around my wrist, I have added in the final centre bead. So what I'm going to do now, my thread is coming out underneath the piece of cord here, so I'm going to go over the top and through this centre bead. Much like when you're doing the rest of it, you're just not adding a bead in between because we need to taper it off a bit at the end. And then underneath go through. And I'm just going to weave going through the hole in the bead just so I can bring the ends in. So underneath going over and through. And so that's tapered that off quite nicely. I'm just going to wrap the thread around these two ends of the cord and yeah, just wrap it nice and tightly. And then I'm just going to tie a couple of half hitch knots. So that's when you make a loop, you pull the thread through and tighten and do it a few more times. So I've tied that nice and tightly. I'm just going to leave the end for the time being. Now I'm going to attach my button. So I'm going to go through the end with my cord and then tie a knot. Make sure it's nice and tight. And now we're going to attack with the fabric glue before we snip any ends off. So, like I do with most of my bracelet tutorials, I'm just going to cover in fabric glue and it dries clear so you won't see any of this. Okay, I'm going to snip the ends of my knot though. Try not get any glue on my scissors because I'm not very organised. Then I can cover the whole knot in glue. And 
and now you just need to hang it over something for it to dry. So I have a nice roll of tape, so I'm just going to drape it over. That way it doesn't stick to anything else. So I left my bracelet to dry overnight, which is why the lighting has changed. Um, I just wanted to make sure that it had actually dried. And it's also why my nail varnish is now a different colour, because that is how I roll. Always painting my nails a new colour. Anyway, I've snipped off those excess pieces of thread. Move my roll of tape out of the way. And your bracelet is ready to wear. Ta-da! Super easy. I knew you could do it. If you can't get your hands on Super Duo beads, I made this one using twin beads. And obviously you don't have to do a chevron pattern if you don't want to. You can just go random if you want or do any pattern that you like. I just thought chevrons are quite cute. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Your support means an awful lot to me. And why not hit subscribe? I post a new video every Sunday and sometimes a bonus one in the week as well. Once again, don't forget to check out the description to see where I bought my materials from. And if you do make something of your very own using one of my tutorials, I would love to see how you made it or your interpretation of it. So please feel free to share your pictures with me on various social media sites such as Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and Tumblr and Snapchat, etc. And the link and information to all of those is in the description box below as well. Thank you very much once again for watching and I shall see you very soon in my next video. Bye!